Hello everybody! Happy Tuesday, I hope you're all well. So I've had my birthday and a little bit of a haircut. It's only fair that I show you the shirts that I was lucky enough to receive for my birthday. So I received two shirts in total, so I'll show you one today and one on Friday. Both the shirts are just as amazing as each other, so there's no particular reason why I chose this one today or why I'd save the one for Friday. Now naturally, I've already opened them and I've already seen them, so I'm not going to do the opening for you, so I'll just simply show you what I have here and I have a feeling that possibly you may have seen both of these shirts because they do definitely stand out. I try and save some of the fancier ones for birthdays and sort of Christmas etc just to make it a little bit more special when opening but of course there are then the risk of them not being uh, stocked and available to buy so it's always an interesting time and this time I from my dad and stepmom received this one right here. So that is the rear of the shirt. Now when I first saw this one for sale I thought this was in grey and when you see the image of it you think hmm I can see that but upon receiving it it is this sort of interesting military style green it's like the camouflage green and it actually does say that on the tag as well so that is the colour they're going for. There are some little bits of grey which you'll see on the front uh, but of course you do have these uh, orange sort of sponsors and other sort of little bits and bobs on it. Now when you bring it round to the front, this is where the real design sort of really pops off there. So you can see it runs across the front in uh, from top to bottom. Now I, when I first again saw this, other than it thinking it was grey, I thought what you're looking at are battleships that you'd see on the, uh, on the uh, ocean and the sea there. Um, it's not quite what it is. What I will do is I'll dress the mannequin and I'll come back to explain to you the reasoning why I decided to go for this shirt in particular uh, when considering there are a few other ones that I could have done so for this team. Okay then, so there's the shirt. Hopefully it's in shot and it's definitely a design that stands out and one that fits perfectly with the rest of my collection. So this is Villain Tway and this is their third shirt from the current season, 22 23 and obviously I didn't buy this but it did come from classic football shirts and it does retail for £49.99 when it comes to the sizing availability I believe they have everything other than large so if you are large and you are actually interested in buying a shirt for this particular club don't worry because classic football shirts have quite an array of shirts for this team including the home and the away shirts for this season it was between this one and the away shirt for the ones that I would have gone for because the away shirt actually stands out quite nicely but um, they actually don't have any mediums so even if I did want that one I wouldn't be able to get it. Uh, at the end of the day I decided that I'd go for this one just because it has this interesting styling and I did think it was a little bit uh, grey but it's not. It is it is green so there are some plenty of options when it comes to the club. Now the club is based in Tilburg, the city of Tilburg and it was founded in 1896 so quite an old team. In fact the club was named after a Dutch king, William II, who I believe was the inspiration for their away shirt for last season, the sort of navy one, the orange um, sort of bits on there. That was a really really nice shirt. I probably should have picked up that one but this one is also just a good enough uh, sort of substitute there. Now they currently play in the second division having been relegated last year from the era de Vizy. This season they are currently sitting in the playoff positions. I don't think they're going to be able to get in the automatic positions because they're too far ahead but quite clearly they're looking to bounce back at the first time of asking. Now historically they are one of the most successful teams in the Netherlands outside of the big three. They've won the Eredivisie title three times though most recently it was in the middle of the 1950s and I believe they've also won a couple of Dutch Cups. Now, looking at Wikipedia, they have a friendship with uh, Bristol City. For some reason, they have a friendship with the fans of Bristol City. When it comes to their rivals, their rivals are NAC Nac Breda, and I can also presume Bristol Rovers. Kind of makes sense, wouldn't it, I suppose? Now, when it comes to looking at their squad, none of their particular players' names jumped out at me. Uh, and also, reading Wikipedia, it seems like they haven't had a manager since... Uh, December, which is quite interesting considering that they are in the player position. So, quite if it's not been updated or who's happening, I don't know. But yeah, they may have a job opportunity. If you're interested, send off your CV, I suppose. 
Uh, when it comes to the actual shirt itself, so it's a Robe manufactured shirt, which is not too unsurprising because they do have a little bit of a sort of duopoly monopoly when it comes to sort of uh, lower second division, lower end first division teams in, in the Netherlands. And that's great because they probably do some of the best shirts that I actually have in my collection. And this one quite clearly has an abundance of features all over it. So the first thing that stands out is this design on the front. So what you have is the city skyline of Tilburg. Not battleships, but the skyline. And also you have very subtly, and I mean very subtly, you have like W, which is part of the uh, crest, of course. And there is a little bit of text that's on the front. And, the re and what that text is, is actually a little bit from what is on the rear. So on the rear of the neck, you have the coat of arms of the city of Tilburg. And then underneath that, you have the chant we are thousands and never come alone which is one of the songs that the fans do and the sort of very subtle text that is woven into this front bit is actually lyrics from that particular song so i think this was designed to be sort of a fan shirt within mind and that's very nice when they do that also on the inside of the collar they have just the uh, the crest of the team there pretty standard approach but it's always nice when they do that and then also with regards to the trims these are the primary colors of the club you have the red white and blue tricolor that is famed for their home shirts now that is pretty much it when it comes to the uh, the shirt itself you do have these obviously very very bright orange sort of standout colors which i believe harps back to that king we mentioned because i think he was like the orange king or something to that effect it definitely stands out. So it's a colour combination that I don't really think I have, and I'm very, very pleased to own one. In fact, I did once own, in fact, I think I still do own a Villain Tway shirt, which I bought with some other Robe shirts, and for whatever reason, this one never, uh, that other one never arrived with tags. So I think it's somewhere floating around, somewhere where I'm just hoping to sell it at some point, but this one is one that I can definitely add to my collection so there we go it's another dutch team i think i'm getting close to maybe 13 14 15 of those so we're slowly getting there do have a bit of soft spot for uh, of the dutch team there so that's nice and that is really it i can say about it it's pretty cool and i i would advise and, and sort of suggest that if you are interested in villain tray shirts that this season's shirts are some of the best ones you could have but uh, every season if they're still with robe next season they're probably going to release something equally as interesting and as wonderful as this one so next video is going to be on friday with my other shirt that i was uh, just generously gifted for my birthday that one stands out just as much as this one so uh, yeah sort of uh, keep your eyes open for that one um, have a great week ahead uh, if you're in the uk it's um, well i presume probably most places at least it's a bank holiday for us so we have easter weekend so we have friday and monday off work which is always amazing to happen so uh, yeah enjoy your time when whatever it is you spend however you do and uh, i will see you yes on the video on friday thank you for watching as always goodbye